In 2021, Mike and Christine set out on a project of a lifetime to turn a tired 1950s home into what you see behind me today, a modern masterpiece with some incredible interiors. So what's changed between now and then? Well, in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the entire project, talk about the renovation, show you the new materials used, and most importantly, a full walkthrough tour of this incredible house. I can't wait to show you around. Let's start the tour. We're starting the tour off today on the long sweeping driveway. So we have the electric gate at the start of the property, secure entry via a remote or from inside the house. Tons of mature trees around me. Like I say, this plot is incredible. It's around 0.85 of an acre in total. And this long sweeping driveway gradually reveals the magnificent house at the end. And for me, this is one of my favorite parts about this property. I mean, look at this driveway, this space, all this frontage, it's beautiful. Let's go have a look. Continuing up the driveway, it now opens up to a huge motor court space. You have enough room for like 10 plus vehicles here. We can take a look at the exterior of the property. Now it has been completely transformed, as I mentioned. So now on the exterior, it's mostly made up of a white render facade. Tons of aluminium glazed windows providing security, heat retention, and most importantly, an abundance of natural light. Now, the driveway area is over here. Just moved the other car so I can show you some more of the exterior. As you can see, there's so much space for cars and we even have a garage at the end over that side. As we move to the front entrance, up a couple of stone steps, we have this incredible doorway. I mean, this is a piece of design in itself. Look at how it opens up just like that and reveals the entrance to the property. Simply stunning. Let's go inside. All right, right in the entry, this is where you can start to see how much change has happened in this property. So picture old wooden walls, brightly colored carpets, and now as you come into the entrance, it's grand, it feels opulent, there's so much space. So we have the vertical radiators here. To my left, the security system, you have cameras all around the property as well as the alarm, the access to let people in through the gate. Another vertical radiator, we have Antico flooring in a chevron pattern throughout most of the ground floor and the staircase on my right. But as you come into the property, it just, you, your eyes are drawn straight up to the most incredible chandelier, which is all the way on the top level. First room I'm gonna show you is a formal living room. So come through these doors. This is such a grand space. We have the center chandelier in the middle and a ceiling rose, which I think is particularly beautiful. I do like that that was original as part of the 1950s home as well. So all of the interior design I want to mention to you guys as well is by Ginger Interiors and that is a business that the owners of this property um, have. So all of the furnishings, everything you can see is actually included in the price. So the property is currently for sale and if you want any more information, check out the description for more info. On my right here is the fireplace. This is a log burning fireplace. And then to my right, we have the paneled walls and they have a textured finish inside, which is quite unique, but I have been seeing that in a few more places. I was touring a property in Mayfair, London a couple of weeks ago and they had something similar, if you guys remember that one. But I just wanna take a moment to appreciate this room, the paneling detailing on the wall, the textured wallpaper, which is inset within the paneling. Okay, now I'm gonna take you to the other side of the house and show you one of my favorite rooms. I think you're gonna like this. Let's go check out the cinema room. Now the cinema room has been set as a more intimate space. They've gone for the dark theme paint on the walls, making it feel a bit more dark in here, a bit more cozy. We have this huge L-shaped sofa looking directly at the TV with my favorite channel on there ready to play. Now this room also has big curtains that you can close. So if you do wanna make this really ambient, really dark, really cozy, then you can do that quite easily. It has the Sonos surround sound system in the ceiling and an incredible recessed ceiling. 
with an LED light. I love this room. This feels so spacious. So in terms of changes, this used to be a snooker room. It had old wooden paneling. Um, so this was completely transformed. And then if I direct you over to my left, through here, this actually was the old garage of the property, the single garage. So this has been knocked through and connected to this room and now provides space for a bar. So we have an abundance of drink space and storage for all of your glasses. All of your favorite drinks can be found here and a nice place to sit and enjoy. You could even perhaps have this as a cigar room, something like that. And if you're not really into cigars or alcohol, you got the other end of the spectrum, sweets. So check this out. We have all of your own sweet and candy store. Now, would you like to know a fun fact? Jelly babies, like these, were invented in Lancashire. And that's where we are today. So I haven't really talked to you about the location. Mm, nice, you want? Mm. 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 That's good. Mm. So this property is located in Alton, which is a sought after village in Lancashire, which for those of you that don't know, is around 12 miles north of Liverpool. And there's a train station just down the road, I think it's called Alton Park, and that'll get you into Liverpool in about 20 minutes. Okay, let me carry on with the tour. Moving from the cinema room, what do you guys think to that? Let me know in the comments what your favorite room is so far. We've got a seating area under the stairs, beautiful sofa. And again, they've just set nice spaces like this that separate the area. I'm gonna go through to the study as well, first through here. So these are actually steel doors, like black glass crittle doors, and they both open up through into the study. How do they do that though, is the question, which I don't know the answer. Here we go. There we go. So if you wanna open those double doors up and come straight in, you can do that. And can we take a minute to appreciate the size of this home desk? Have you ever seen anything like it? And it has a fabric surround as well. So you could, I mean, this is like an amazing work setup. You could have huge monitors here, perfect for a couple of people. Love the symmetry of the same chairs, monitors, really spot on. Now we have this shrank like storage solution here. Now I wasn't familiar with that word before and Nick who's behind the camera said that this is a shrank or it's shrank like. So you have to let me know in your comments if that's true. Um, it's apparently an item that can be used to like show pieces like this but then also has storage. I thought that was quite cool. Then we have another original ceiling rose above. I just love the detailing on them. And then finally an original fireplace to the 1950s home just here. How amazing is this as a study? Absolutely huge, has beautiful views to the garden. It's not at the exterior wall, the very external one, but because of the way they've cleverly done the glazing, you still have a nice view from the garden throughout here. Anyway, back into the hallway. So if you've seen many of our modern house doors before, you know how much tech is involved, how much cables, how much wiring. So this is the hub of the house, the brains, so all the techs in there. And then this is the powder room, which has the porcelain tiles, beautiful vanity area, and a huge mirror. Okay, so now this is where I can talk to you about some of the key changes that have happened in this property. So we'll go through the steel doors again. And you can see here, this was an extension. So the kitchen, which by the way is amazing, I can't wait to show you, is actually where the old swimming pool used to be. So this curved area used to be the original external wall and the swimming pool was accessed via that door there, which is the powder room, which used to be the bathroom and then access to the pool. We're gonna to get to that, I can't wait to show you it. You're definitely gonna to wanna to see, so stay tuned. But now we are in the extended area. So this is a really open space. We have two gigantic skylights above, just letting tons of natural light in. And I think it's time to show you I think our, I know I said the cinema room was my favorite, but I think this is, this is the spot for me. Come on, let me show you through. So double doors open up to the most incredible home gym. So as home gyms go, I think this, they've done a great job. It's got everything you could need with so much space for more. If you want more cardio equipment, you go for it. Me, I'd probably take this out, have some more weights areas, but look how much space you've got. So it stretches the entire length of the property from the very front 
to the exterior. Has a gigantic TV in here and just feels like a luxury high-end gym. The type of interior you'd expect in like a fitness class. You've got the squat rack here. Yeah, tons of space. And then even better, it has the Sonos sound system carried out throughout here. So you can blast your music, have a great workout, play some golf, practice your putting, and then go out through these incredible sliding doors onto your garden. What a great way to finish your workout. I'll show you the garden a little later. Now it's time we go over to the kitchen. You're gonna to wanna to see this. It's so cool. Come on through. Somewhere in my head, I'm still a white knight. Flying across the plains until my last fight. So now we go up into the space. We have two steps with nice LED lighting surround into the kitchen. This is a Matthew Marston kitchen. And I mean, look at the size of this center island. So it's in a shaker style. And as I mentioned, right below where we are standing now used to be an indoor swimming pool. It was pretty tired and the owners thought a better way to utilize this space would be to make this incredible open concept, family entertaining kitchen room. I think they've done a great job, it was a good choice. So let me show you through all of the details. As I said, it's like a shaker style finish. So this is your pantry area somewhere perfect for a coffee machine. Some lo lovely, neat, um, you know, storage of glasses, pottery, etc. The appliances are Fisher and Pakel. So you've got the fridge this side, full height, freezer, and then wine cooler drinks fridge in the very center. And if we come over here, there's also a secret door somewhere in here, which holds the utilities. So you have to guess where that is. Let's carry on the tour and I'll reveal that later. So continuing around, we have the Fisher & Paker ovens that side. And have you ever seen in a UK house a cooker top this, this size? So that's by a company called Western. Now, Fisher & Paker induction hob. Now, do you prefer induction or gas? Well, if you live in a home like this, you don't have to choose because you have the gas ones here, you know, teppanyaki or something like that. And then you have the electric induction hob this side. Fisher and Paker dishwasher is down here. But moving with the shaker style, we've gone for a couple of different color tones. So we have the gray on the left here, and then on the island, they've gone for a darker blue. But I think both complement each other quite well. You know what? I'm so glad that it's such a sunny day today. Like we've made the long trip up to come and check out this property. And I'm so glad we did. And I'm so glad the sun is here for us because it just makes this home like the in and outdoor living concept of being able to just walk straight out. It's basically the same level, beautiful gardens. So now we have the dining space. Oh, I've just found, I've just found a, a resident. Hello. Hello. You want to say hello, you friendly? You were friendly earlier. No, you're, you are friendly. I took you back in for your dinner. Okay, you just chill there, buddy. So what's this? 10 seater, one, two, three, four, eight, 10 seater table with a beautiful skylight above. I mean, you can probably see that light shining down on me. It's super bright. And then we have the additional bar concept area over here, which I do like because even just decoratively, all right, it just looks so cool at this side of the room. And then finally, the living area. So separate to the cinema room, it's quite cool that you've got this space as well. And this is in front of the fireplace, gas fireplace, giving off some beautiful heat. And then again, massive TV. All right, we mentioned the secret door. I'm gonna reveal where that is now. So just this way. I'm sure you probably guessed it anyway. It was more of a process of elimination as you're watching the tour. But through here, oh, that's cool. Look, I didn't expect that door to do that. I expected it to open sideways, but it actually opens like that. Anyway. So this is more than a utility. This is a secondary kitchen, a chef's kitchen, a dirty kitchen, whatever wording you want to use. But that's yeah, good job, better lighting. So now this is where you've still got Fisher & Paykel um, appliances, still got the same quality of shaker style kitchen in here, but just allows, you know, if you've got a chef or if you're hosting a dinner party or something, you can have everything going on in here and keep outside looking absolutely pristine. Okay, and there's some more storage in there around the right, but obviously the owners are living here. I'm not going to show you everything out of respect. Let's take you guys upstairs because the ground floor is incredible. But when you see these bedrooms, 
you will realize that the space you're living in is probably really small. <laughs> like some of these bedrooms, like the size of London apartments. And what the coolest thing is, is there was originally five bedrooms, only one en suite. And there is now five bedrooms, all en suite. And you're gonna to wanna to see some of these dressing rooms. All right, let's go upstairs. I was walking by the ocean, feeling all the motion. When she came right up next to me, I got caught up in the moment, felt like we were frozen. Coming up the stairs to the first floor, we can stand for a moment and appreciate the incredible light chandelier. Now, they also have a stair runner carpet coming up, which just creates that luxury feel. But now it's time to see these bedrooms. So this is where, again, so many changes happened. The stairs were actually in a completely different direction. But let me take you through to bedroom two, which could very much be classed as a principal suite as well. I mean, look at the scale of this space and the size of this room. Absolutely amazing, beautiful bed, beautiful furnishings, again, all included. And then through this way is the walk-in wardrobe. So this is an amazing place to get ready, you know, natural light, lots of built-in bespoke cupboards. And then we go through to the ensuite where they have used rockier tiles here, many of them sourced from Italy. Beautiful ensuite. I mean, very minimal and clean, um, but certainly does the job, very modern. And you have the big rainfall shower head. Now let's come back out again, walking through the room, appreciating it, the incredible views towards the front of the property. Like, even though this is at the front, and usually when you have a bedroom at the front of the house, it might be looking at a road, but this still equally has the most amazing view of pretty much tree lined driveway, so it feels very private. Now, moving across the landing, we have bedroom five through here. So this is the smallest of the five bedrooms. But if I showed you this and said this is bedroom three or four, you think, yeah, it's still a good size map. But yeah, let me know what you think. I think this is a great room. So here, this used to actually be what's in here was the main family bathroom of the property. So this was a brick wall knocked through, which is quite challenging to do. And then they have then created a wardrobe area and an ensuite. So you can imagine, even for the 50s property, this would have been a big family bathroom. But they've actually created it to the ensuite now, partitioned it, and then created again an ensuite with a similar, well, actually, these are the same rockier grey tiles, similar standard of finish, or same standard. Okay, now I haven't yet showed you the principal suite. You guys are going to love this one. Come on through. Welcome to the principal bedroom. Now this room has some unique features. It's got the recessed ceiling with the LED lighting surrounding another incredible chandelier piece in the center of the room. You always know your bedroom's big when you have a bed area, but then also a comfortable place for seating. And these chairs very similarly match the sofa below. Very stylish. Custom headboard, textured wallpaper, but if you love somewhere to get ready, if you appreciate that time where you're checking your outfits, your fit, you're gonna love this. So come on through. Double doors. So back in the 50s property when it was when it was new, this here was the ensuite for this space. It was quite narrow and thin, and now they've opened it up. So this is just a small part of the dressing area, huge mirror, lots of storage, and then come on through and check out this dressing room. You might be thinking, Matt, that's not a dressing room. You've just discovered an entire kitchen island. And I would say, you know what, you are right. But when you live in a house this size, that's what you can have. I mean, look, you want to get ready. Perhaps you're taking a bit long. Phone's run out of charge. No worries. Pop it on charge. You've even got USBs in there. As well as the center island, you have all of this bespoke wardrobe space around the side. I mean, you could literally fit an entire small boutique fashion stores you know, all their products in somewhere like this. Now, I'm gonna take you through into the ensuite, which is equally fantastic. Come on through. I mean, look at the scale of this room. Absolutely massive, we've got the freestanding bath. Look at all that natural light just pouring in. Again, the aluminium windows. We have the rockier tiles here. This is a porcelain finish, and each one of these you can see, so this is one, tile here so you can just imagine how enjoyable that was to fit on the wall but the result I'd say is worth it huge shower head but look you can walk in either side it's completely flush 
And then we have the dual sinks over this side as well with tons of mirrored space, nice ambient comfort lighting surrounding the spotlights. Yeah, this is a beautiful room. Now, as we exit the ensuite, there's one key feature of this room I haven't shown you, and that is the balcony. And you're gonna wanna see this, especially on a day like today, the beautiful weather. Come on out. How nice is this? So straight from your principal bedroom, you can walk out, you have the glass balustrade here, beautiful views of your garden, and you can start to see some more of the architecture of the home. So if you take a look down, Nick, if you pan this way, you can see this is where the original swimming pool was. Completely changed this area, you can see the skylight above. Now, the material on the outside is actually zinc, so it's zinc cladding, and that makes up the external part of the property there. But then also if we turn around and look at the second floor, they use the same zinc cladding there. So it's quite a contrast between the white render, the brick on some of the external areas like the ground floor, and then zinc cladding. A very unique finish there, but it pulls off, very modern feel. So now let's go see what's up there on the second floor. Moving from the principal suite, again, along the landing, before we check out the second floor, I thought we have to stop off in one of the owner's favorite areas. So before they even completed the renovation project, they actually had a snowfall and said how beautiful it was just sitting here, enjoying that view outside. As you can imagine, snowfall here would just be incredible. So the property, as I mentioned, downstairs was completely done by the owners. So their business, Nucor Solutions, handled the development and then Ginger Interiors for all of the interiors. So what a great match come together and create this project. Let's go to the second floor. When we arrived at the home today and had the first tour around, the first place we were taken to by the owners was this bedroom through here. We started the tour at the top floor. And so you can imagine our first impressions when this was the first bedroom that we came across, knowing that this wasn't even the principal suite. But again, if you like places to get ready, how incredible is this. So you have your chair here, all of your products. You can even use this as a desk to work if you wanted to. Skylights or Velux windows here, sorry, letting in a ton of natural light. Loads of bespoke wardrobes that side. Through double doors into a beautiful bedroom again, loads of light. And this side, there is a seating area. You can even sit down here and just enjoy looking across your room. So you have views of the front of the property through the Velux windows on that side and to your rear garden through these big windows on this side. It doesn't end there. Of course, it has an incredible ensuite. So back through the double doors, we'll go into the ensuite, which is the size of a bedroom in itself. And this is where, again, many changes happened in this total area. This was a dormer space in the attic, this overall area. So they built out and made it into this incredible ensuite, added the bedrooms. So that's been a big transformation. Again, the rockier tiles, the big bathtub and shower. So you can imagine when the house was new, the 50s house, yeah, this just basically being neglected. Roof space, not really used for much. And now it's more than a usable space. It's two beautiful bedrooms and also a secondary utility. You know, if you have this much square footage and talking of specs, the house is around eight and a half thousand square feet. It's nice to be able to do your washing and drying on the top floor without it having to go down. Grab a coffee while you're at it, some storage. So that's tucked through there. This side, we're going to move into another one of the bedrooms. I mean, just check this out. Every bedroom after bedroom has its own unique stamp, slightly different interior. But I think just the sizes of them is what really sets this house apart from others. Again, you just won't believe, like, look at the size of this ensuite. Huge space, freestanding bath, rainfall shower head, beautiful views onto the garden. And I'm a big fan of these dark doors as well. I haven't really touched on that yet, but they're a nice detail. Now we're gonna go into this room's walk-in wardrobe. Now think about how many rooms have that. So here we go. 
summer if you're watching you will appreciate the natural light coming in through here obviously that's important when you're getting ready and i think what an amazing space to have that just in here and again the velix windows if you want to get a breeze you can just pop them open some nice fresh air inside now we've seen the interior of this home the five bedrooms the kitchen cinema room bar it's time to check out the garden so we'll go see that we'll look at the architectural profile from the exterior i'll meet you guys down there now So indoor and outdoor lifestyle works so seamlessly. You can open up these doors, enjoy a family lifestyle out here with some gorgeous outdoor furniture. The seating area here, dining table. This is such a nice space to also enjoy the exterior profile of the property. I'll take you through here because this is a really cool feature. I'm a massive fan of outdoor barbecues. One of my favorite spots to be and you've got the huge beef eater barbecue here, top of the range. This is where it's at. This is where I'd be cooking the steaks up every day. And now we have space for drinks fridge in here. Again, tap, and this is all brand new. Like it's literally ready to move in. Everything's new. You've got everything you could need. And now let's take a look at the garden some more. So it really is quite imposing, isn't it? The profile of the house. Actually, you can see the scale here. And how it is, yeah, eight and a half thousand square feet. That is a big house in England. We'll continue through this way. If you like outdoor barbecues like me, you'll also appreciate a fire pit, somewhere to cook your s'mores after your steak. <laughs> Come on through. This is where it's at. So we don't have it lit at the moment, but maybe in the evening we can. But you can just come out here, nice drink, chill with that, and you honestly have gorgeous views of a very private garden. This building there that you can see behind me is the new garage and there's also an electric vehicle charging point installed. I do appreciate a good garden that has been mowed with the right vertical pattern. And you know we're coming to spring and summer when you're seeing in the gardens this nice striped finish. So let's come back, let's take a look at the exterior of this property again. It's a huge house. I'm very glad we made the trip up to near Liverpool today. Again, places called Alton in Lancashire to check out this home. If you're a footballer or a successful business person or anyone else of that matter with the money, this could be your next home. So if you are interested, make sure to check out the description for more information. If you have enjoyed coming along to see this property with us, please give us a like. It really helps us out on the channel, helps us get into even better properties. We keep leveling up. It's always amazing to show you inside and explore these incredible homes with you. And also consider subscribing if you want to be the first to know about these incredible tours. We hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Again, we can just stand and appreciate. Appreciate. <laughs> sake. Let me open it up for you. As well as this kitchen. No, it's not kitchen. <laughs> yeah, I just need a minute. Being wrong. Again, many changes happened in this total area. Do you remember what they were? So I'll say that after this. <laughs> now we've seen the exterior. <laughs> interior. Now we've seen all of the interior of this home. It's now. <laughs> Threw me off. Tree lines, tree lines surround. <laughs> Very private garden. For now, let's go see what's up there on the second floor. 